Good morning, my loves. Hope everyone's been keeping well. I promise I'm still trying to get this consistency trail on lockdown. So please just continue bearing with your girl. This week's project is such a fave of this gorgeous curtain. The texture to it is also quite something and the rustic shade and prints just have it on its own special level. that I transformed to this gorgeous chic piece and to be honest this is one of those pieces that I will definitely be rocking out in the next few days and is top of my list in my faves and you know the drill by now so if you'd like to see how this came about then just keep watching This curtain had lining to it, so I began by taking the lining off. Next I trace my current favorite shift dress on it on fold with the right side facing up and cut it out. I then use this front piece to trace the back piece on fold with the wrong side facing up leaving about an inch allowance for zip installation and cut it out. I then cut the center of the back piece open. Next I took the remaining cutting pieces and eyeballed a strip on fold and placed it aside. I then trimmed off the excess pieces to have an equal strip and cut it in half. I proceeded to do my darts and right after this I realized I messed up because this darts should have been for the front piece but anyhow after realizing this I proceeded to do the exact thing for the front piece. Next, I proceeded to stitch the front piece darts down. I stitched the back that's down and ironed the two strips we've made like so and took one and used it as my hemming band by tucking the open top inside the fold and stitch it in place using my favorite pattern stitch. And this is how it looked. 
I did the same for the back pieces with the other strip and installed this zip off camera. Next I match this against the front piece and counter check the measurements then stitch the sides down. I tried the dress on and adjusted it to fit to my liking and once done I went back and opened the bottom side joints. I did the hemming using my favorite pattern stitch and this is how it looked. I hemmed the back piece as well and once done I stitched the sides down. I love this fabric as is and opted not to use lining also because I intend to use it as a prototype for my future projects. So after this I trimmed off the loose hanging strips and fastened the back slit and opened the bottom end. I'm hoping that made sense. <laughs> Next I took the first strip we eyeballed and stitched the side on fold with the wrong side facing up then inverted it. I then tuck the open ends inwards and stitch them closed like so. Next I pressed this strip with an iron and folded it in half to get the middle and marked 6 inches for my armhole, still on fold. I stitched this down at an angle and attached it to the right hand dress side like so. And with that I was all done. Here's the final look and I love how simple, chic and sexy this came together and cannot wait to rock it out. Let me know if you feel me on this in the comments section below and don't forget to check out the link for my blog for photos and a write up on how my week was. Until the next project, fingers crossed soon, bye loves.